Where to begin? Let's start with some foundational things to begin to break the power of the enemy. It doesn't make any difference what race or social status one may have. It doesn't make any difference how long they've been Christians or what their position is in ministry within the body of Christ. Many have found their whole life has been a life of pain, disappointment, anger, abandonment, and rejection. Very few have hope that they will ever, ever make it into a place of safety. Most people live at the ends of their ropes. We see them coming to this other place where they begin to cry out to the Lord in the midst of their trouble. What I've found is very few people are willing to face what it takes to cross over, to ride out the storm of life, their wave, and have enough courage to position them for whatever it takes to make it to safe harbor. It takes guts to look into the face of fear and make the choice to live and not die. It is the strongholds of our emotions that often keep us in the rough seas. Strongholds that speak to you, telling you that you will never make it. For many of us, facing our wound is the most dangerous thing we've ever done. We spent a lifetime sedating our wounds with drugs, alcohol, or with immorality. This counterfeit way of meeting needs will never bring you to a point of overcoming and being the champion you were designed to be. It is in our beginning, the process that allows us to overcome and break free and discover the real heroes within ourselves. This is the process of understanding why we act the way we do, our wounds, and dealing with our habitual behaviors, the strongholds of thinking and acting on those thoughts of destruction. For those of us in the church that are really spiritual with religious activity, we try to perform enough to earn God's love. Why Strongholds Are Built Strongholds can be passed down from generation to generation through the iniquities of our forefathers. When we allow negative strongholds of thinking to cause us to make choices that would wound our families, these choices can become sin. Exodus 25 Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord, thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Exodus 34.7 Keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, and that will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children, and upon the children's children, unto the third and to the fourth generation. However, how many people do you know that, when they became born again, changed their old habit patterns immediately? Romans 12, 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God? Many times, strongholds are built within us from just living in our Father's house. There may have been no apparent wounding, yet we find ourselves living in the same destructive lifestyles of our fathers later in adult years. How many of you know alcoholic people who grew up in alcoholic homes? Did their alcoholic parents cause them to become alcoholics themselves? No one can make you become like your examples in life except for you. The choices are yours. Did growing up in that environment influence or cause you to have an iniquity towards alcohol? Strongholds can be built from deep hurts that result from wounds we have received. 